Hey guys, we're back with the latest Galaxy S22 news and well, AMD is in action. We'll also be taking a look at the state of underskin camera plus some more info on the Galaxy Z Fold 3. But let's get into the first performance related info regarding the next Exynos chip, the first Exynos chip with the AMD RDNA2 architecture. Once again, the news is coming from Korean media and uh, basically when it comes to the peak performance, the AMD Exynos chip is actually performing better than the competitors. Samsung is said to be pretty happy with the performance but there's actually one problem. During this peak performance stage the thermal throttling is stronger than expected. Apparently the performance drops by about 20% and in the second run they saw the performance dropping by about 30%. This definitely sounds concerning but we're actually far away from the launch of the Galaxy S22 series so I'm pretty sure Samsung and AMD will be able to figure out this thermal throttling problem. The good news is that the performance is actually better than the competitors, which is why it's reported that Samsung has indeed abandoned the Mali GPU for AMD architecture. Not just that, Samsung has gained massive confidence in AMD, which is why they've actually set the deal for AMD's next RDNA architecture, which is going to be RDNA 3. Meaning, beyond Exynos 2200, the next Exynos flagship chip will also be rocking a AMD GPU. And lastly, this report mentions that Google will now be a big customer for Samsung's chips, which means in the the future, the Pixel flagships will be rocking Exynos chips. We're just not sure if they're going to be getting the AMD GPUs or not, but Google will be Samsung's customer as we have already seen Samsung's involvement with the upcoming Pixel 6 family. So this AMD RDNA2 Exynos chip is performing great when it comes to peak performance is concerned, but let's hope they figure out the thermal throttling problem and add some amazing cooling to it so that it doesn't run very hot. I'm confident that they'll be able to fix everything in the future. Also in the news, underscreen camera is officially happening with the Galaxy Z Fold 3, but according to Max Weinbach, it's actually very bad and you shouldn't get excited about it at all. It's not gonna have that transparent cathode region which we're gonna see on second gen under display cameras but Samsung has still decided to use it on the Z Fold 3. And some people are confused as to why Samsung has done that, especially on their most expensive smartphone. Let me explain. The Z Fold 3 will have more than one selfie camera. There's going to be a traditional 10 megapixel selfie sensor on the outer screen. And as a Fold 2 user myself, I actually use the outer selfie camera more compared to the inner selfie camera because of its tablet size. It's not that convenient when you're taking selfies. You can also use your back cameras as your selfie sensors. So Pretty much Samsung can afford to take this decision and implement the under display camera on the Fold 3. This is actually the safest product that they can try this stuff out. But when it comes to the S22 Ultra or their traditional flashy smartphone with only one selfie sensor, that is where the risk is pretty massive. Now, speaking of underskin camera, Vision Knox, the company that was responsible for ZTE's under display camera smartphone, they're actually coming out with the next gen underskin camera. And according to a leakster, it looks pretty good. Although we have not seen any real life performance, any selfie samples, so I can't really comment on its quality, but it's said to be improved compared to the previous generation. So that's all for today. Let me know your thoughts on this early performance of the AMD RD a 2 based Exynos processor that is going to be inside the S22 family. Also, if the S22 family does not have under display camera, will that be a big problem? Let me know in the comments below. With that being said, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.